Mr. Truck here with another exciting truck review. We're up here in the Rocky Mountains at Estes Park. Memorial Day weekend, so there's only four or five more people up here besides us. And I'm here with... Kelsey. And we have these 2015 Ram 1500 with the Eco Diesel. How much power does that mean? It's got 240 horsepower to 420 torque. And it's an 8-speed automatic? It is an 8-speed automatic with that knob. That knob, yes, the knob. We're all getting used to the knob. And this is the Longhorn Laramie, so it's loaded, loaded. It's got the Ram box, it's got everything, the crew cab. And we're going to go up here and, and see how it handles the mountains. So come with us. see what happens but we are driving this 2015 Ram 1500 eco diesel that's that V6 now this uh, this is the Longhorn Laramie Laramie Longhorn edition so it's one notch from the very top I think the top is limited but this is quite the deal this is a crew cab four-wheel drive and of course that means it's a short bed uh, the 57 this has the Ram box which is nice I was worried about how much room there was between the fenders for an ATV. We did load an ATV on it yesterday. We have this new trailer from Load Trail. It's called Load Through. And we loaded uh, an ATV all the way through it into the truck. And we loaded an ATV sideways. And we loaded the gator on the end of that. So we had three of those rascals on here yesterday. Eastern Colorado trying to find some place dry. Now we're heading for this, just trying to find some place dry to, <laughs> to video this. But this is that engine that uh, everybody's talking about that gets the great fuel mileage. It's an eight speed, it's that little knob thing we're trying to get used to. And you still can do the manual selector in the steering wheel, it has buttons for that. But what do you think, Kelsey? We're going uphill, we're only pulling a couple thousand pounds. Yeah, it does nice for a little diesel. Yeah, this this is what a half ton should be. I mean, it shouldn't be trying to compete with the heavy duties. I mean, if you need to pull heavy duty trailers all the time, this is not the truck for you. That's why they make heavy duties. But for the half ton class, I mean, most people are doing like what we're doing. We're pulling an ATV trailer. We're only pulling a couple thousand pounds. I mean, this truck is rated to tow 7,650 with a payload of 1,040. And this has a towing package. This is a 392 rear end. I'm not sure whether the fuel tank that this comes with is a 32 gallon tank, which is I like, but this one, for some reason, has uh, they've optioned it down to a 26 gallon tank. That may have something to do with the Ram box that takes up you know room. I don't know if that's what it is exactly, but these have uh, I think they have a seven gallon uh, def tank on them. Of course, this has to use the diesel exhaust fluid because it's a diesel. Yep, but it's quiet. Yeah, that's 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 what I'm saying. This is a consumer truck. I mean. You, 
the big Cummins and the heavy duties on the Rams, you know they're diesels, but this one, you know, if you don't listen carefully, you'd think it's a gas engine. Yeah, you would. And, you know, if that's if it's a lifestyle truck, truck that, you know, you're using for a half ton, uh, this would be, I think, a more enjoyable truck. It's quiet. It's, you know, it's a nice ride. This doesn't have the air ride. This is the coil rear end, coil rear suspension. Alrighty. Nice and pretty inside. Comfortable seat. I want to say it's got the 10 power options for the seat. Steering wheel feels nice. The brake controller's in the right spot. Got the knob right here. Four wheel drives are all buttons now. That's nice. Nice center console. Pockets everywhere. It's nice in here. This 20 inch wheels is a good looking truck. That is. And these aren't toy mirrors, but there is a lot of glass there. These are actually a pretty good mirror for half time if you don't get the toy mirror. And being a long the Laramie Longhorn, it has all the toys. It's got heated steering wheel, heated seats, both rows are heated. And just about everything you can want. Of course it has a tow haul, it has all the, the things to, to know that you can tow a trailer. It has an integrated brake controller. It's got the backup camera, it's got uh, all Does it have the an toys. Exhaust brake? No, no, they don't offer brake? exhaust brake on this one. And they only have one battery, so that's what makes it different than the bigger, the bigger diesels. Okay. But that's, you know, they're not trying to use it as, you know, like I say, towing big trailers, so the exhaust brake didn't seem to be a, a problem, you know. Yeah. But this is your dream truck. This one, yeah, <laughs> for running around town. <laughs> I will have me one of these one day. Yeah, yeah, and if you're, you know, if you're towing Kansas or someplace flat, it's perfectly fine. In the mountains where we live, I don't know that you tow a big trailer, even a full-size trailer with it, uh, up to that 7,650. No. I mean, it wouldn't go pull up fast. It all depends on what you want to do. I mean, we've gotten so spoiled by, you know, being able to all pass people on this kind of, you know, Yeah, we, we've gotten spoiled on the speed that we like. But, you know, this is what we used to have, this kind of power. and. This is the fuel mileage king. I mean, I've, I've been in these in two-wheel drive single cabs where I was getting 32 miles to the gallon. This one, and the average is 22, is what the EPA rates it. It's 19 in the in the city and 27 on the highway. And you know that makes that makes a lot. I've I've towed with one of these in a two-wheel drive configuration with the fast lane truck folks, and we towed up from Dillon to the Eisenhower Tunnels on I-70, and it was getting nine miles to the gallon. Well, that may not seem impressive, but the other half tons we were compared to were getting three miles to the gallon. So it turned out to be a, you know, very impressive at nine, and that's three times the average. Same way, you know, when it's, you know, you're using this for a car, I mean, it definitely will save you fuel money. And the cost of this, uh, I have to, you know, while I looked at the numbers, but I think it's like 2800 over what a Hemi would cost. And it's not that's, bad. No, it's not. It's very reasonable. Right. Plus, that's but they also got to add the eight-speed automatic to it, so you got another thousand or so there. But I think this one would still pay for itself quicker than what the big diesels will and the heavy duties because of that price structure. And that's how they all kind of started out here. All right, let's see who fits in the back seat. Oh, everyone's gonna fit in the back seat. Lots of leg room. Tall people. Got the embellishments on the buckles on the backs of the seats. Got the barbed wire floor mats. The stitch seats are really pretty. Did a black and a tan on the door. Oh, they got car seat holds. That's always good. Oh, the little tray. Oh, this one's. Lays everything flat back here. That's always nice. Decent sized console underneath. Goes all the way back behind the three seats. Oh, you still got another container here, but since this is a half ton, we don't have any greasy ball for the fifth wheeler, the gooseneck. 
Everything ties down. It's nice back here. Oh, and they've got heated seats back here. Spoil the kids. Got the Ram box. But with the tonneau cover, oh, it's going to stay open now. Oh. It wasn't staying open in the yeah. last time I tried. Cool. It's got the cargo management in it. Yeah. It's got the drain plug on this side so you can store ice or whatever you need in here or in case it gets wet. Cool. It's on both sides. Nice little Ram box. You know, this is a very comfortable truck. It is. It's yes. pretty. Well insulated, it's got good, good rubber doors, everything's uh, nice and tight on it. Rubber gasket around the doors and it's it's sealed up. And right now you were in pretty powerful rain back there. Nine speakers and a subwoofer. My kids were in here yesterday and they were listening to some music really loud and they thought it was just awesome. <laughs> Ten way seat. Whoa. Didn't we see you start running out of directions to go after a while? After nine? Yeah. They went and put in this wonderful step. Make it nice and easy to get up here. A little bit low this one, but it's more help than the bumper. Can't get your legs up that high sometimes. It'd be nice if they put a handhold right here, help you get in. All right. Let's see if we can get this tonneau cover off. So this tonneau cover is hooked into the management system back here, the cargo, the cargo man management rail. system. Cool. So it's already come with the rails, so you got the tonneau cover, just roll it up. Oh, there's two more back here. So there's a total of four for the tonneau cover. And little clips back here. Maybe we won't get to there. Oh, I guess that's the size of it then, is right there. Yeah, it's actually light too. Cool. Not too bad for a little trifold. Mr. Truck here. We're reviewing this new trailer from Low Trail. This is for your ATVs and your sidewinders and all those things you use. Uh, your lifestyle vehicles, all that, stick snowmobiles on there, whatever you want to throw on it. But this one is new. It is called, it's from Load Trail, it's called the Load Through. And that's because it has load through ramps. This has a big ramp at the back and a, a ramp in the front. And the way it's designed, you can take and drive your four wheelers through the trailer onto your truck. So you don't have to have a ramp for the truck. And it's a nice small angle. The trailer is low, so your load angle is very slight. So you know you don't have that feeling of falling off or flipping over. And it's a great trailer. The sides come off, you can haul hay on here, you can do anything you want to with it, but it's an ATV trailer. It's got ramps in the front so you can drive it on or off sideways. It's got a ramp in the back, you can load two ATVs straight forward on this, or you can put the ramps down and load all the way forward. Put the first ATV on the truck and then load the next two on the trailer. So you can haul three this way without having to be too long of a vehicle or too long of a trailer. It's a great, great trailer. I mean, it, these, are, these wheels are an option, but it's well constructed. This is not your feed truck, feed store trailer that you find that are made out of angle iron. This is square tubing. This is uh, uh, oblong tubing. This is expanded metal. It's got a wood floor on it, all LED lights. I mean, it's a heavy-duty trailer. This is one you're going to have for a long time. That's why it's nice that you have, have several uses for it. But that's a ramp on each end. That's an unusual trailer from Load Trail called Load Through. Now, Kelsey's helped me demonstrate this today. We're going to load these two up here on it. And this is the back ramp. It's a bigger one. This color is new for this year. This is called Safety Green, kind of like the fire trucks, the ambulances, and all that, which is pretty cool. So we'll let the back ramp down, and you can see the angle of it is very slight. I mean, you know, this is real easy to, to drive up to, walk to, and all of that. So, Kelsey, if you want to unload that one. that ramp from over there, Kelsey. I'll grab this one. Okay. 
and you can drive it off or you can back it off which is pretty cool and then these ramps double as the side rail and there you go with our safety green It's probably going to take a little choke on it. There you go. That's yeah, really nice. Well, that was easy enough. Now to load in the truck, all you have to do is lower the front ramp. It's got a, a latch on each side. And there you are. Nice angle to the truck. Well, that was pretty cool. That's really nice. Yeah. Now let me flip that up. Now this, they call it a, they call it a five-seven bed, but you flip that up, and on this one you may have to have a tailgate extension, or actually, the tailgate won't quite go up for this. This ATV is six and a half feet long. On the beds that are six and a half, that would have gone clear in there, but it's a five seven bed on this ram box. Maximum duty engine cooling. I'm getting really confused on this. In one spot, I'm looking at the Moroni sticker. <laughs> and Ram does this. They'll have different things posted on here three times. It starts off and says it's got a 321 rear end. And you go over here to optional. Ways. Yeah, and then the optional one is a 392. And then you go down below that and it shows you it's got a 355 axle ratio. Well, which one do you pick? You pick the one that has a number by it, a price. Yep. That's how you know. So it's a fifty dollar option. Get the three ninety two. Somebody else got three ninety two. Integrated brake controller. That Ram box. The Ram box. This one has a cargo management system, which is the railing that goes through there and the tie downs. I really like that. You need to be able to tie your cargo down so it doesn't fly off and hit me or somebody else. The Ram boxes, I really like them. This one's got a tonneau cover on it too, and the tonneau cover, it, it fits so tightly against the Ram box. Usually you take a Ram box, you open it, it flips open, it stays open. This one doesn't, you gotta hold it open against the tonneau cover. Yeah, but those tonneau covers are nice. Yeah, they're supposed to give you like a 10% better fuel mileage. I don't know if that always works, but that's the, the goal, it's fuel mileage. And then of course there gives you a giant toolbox back there, the whole bit's covered. Keeps all the rain and everything. Yeah. And this has got a locking tailgate. Well, locks are key fobs, so you know you're not gonna have a problem there. That is always nice. Well, we're going around some pretty good curves here on our way to Estes. How's the steering effort? This is electronic fuel or electronic rack and pinion. <laughs> yeah. She's tighter than my truck, but my truck is also a 2000. Yeah, you've got recirculating not, ball. Yeah. They don't quite stay as tight as these do. It is nice. Very small movements is all you need. Yeah. It's got the big console. You got all kinds of room in there. Got all the filing cabinets and everything in there. I don't know if this one does. That's kind of a, a, rain, a, a Chevy thing. I don't know. If it, yeah, this flips open so you got the set to hold. A lot of space yeah, in there. A lot of room in there. It's pretty deep. A lot of space. And then it's got all the pockets on the sides. And yep, it does. You got two cup holders over here, two in the center, two on your side. And a bunch in the back. A lot a of, of leg room back there. Now this has got the tow haul mode. In that same area that the uh, yeah 
the tow haul mode and then the, the traction control. It's in the same row where your brake control is. This has got the brake control right in the right spot. Easy to see, easy. You don't have to take your eyes off the road that far. You're still got some peripheral vision toward your, your hood line, but uh, it's all in a good spot. And you got your shifter knob there for the automatic transmission. And then, uh, you know, the manual controls is in the steering wheel. So, you can get used to that. Now, this doesn't have the um, telescoping steering wheel, it has tilt wheel. But they haven't gone to the telescoping One out of on two. this yet. The heated steering wheel actually heats up quicker than the seat does, or quicker than your heat comes on. Gotta keep your fingers warm. Yep. You like that big giant wood steering wheel? It's actually not too big. Yeah. And stuff it around it. Yeah. It's got the matching stitching mm -hmm. on the dash. It's nice. Got nice brown. And this, as I recall, this is all real wood. And then Tool the dash of the door. Yeah, it's, it's a good looking dash. It's a good looking truck. Yeah, it is. It is. And this has got great visibility. It's not like the Dually 3500. This one, you can see over the hood wheel. You can see around it well. It's, it's got nice, nice size windshield. The glass is right. This could be the real deal. I can see you buying one of these. I can see you leaving this one at my house. You think? <laughs> well, they make me sign all this paperwork. It just mean more paperwork if I let this insurance guy. <laughs> you lost it, right? Yeah, yeah. I fell asleep and somebody pushed me out and ran off with it. I took a nap, but that was too long of a nap. See, now it's dry. It's not raining on us now. We may just luck out and get up here. You shouldn't have said anything. Yeah. Looks like he's going to go four-wheeling. Yeah. Well, we got two ATVs on the back. Once it's four-wheel drive, we can just jump off here and do some rock climbing. Got this new trailer from Load Trail. Very bright green. Yeah, that's a... Uh, that's safety green. Like, you know, some of the fire trucks, some of the ambulances. That's a heavy duty trader. It's not one of those angle iron ATV traders you buy from a feed store. This is the real thing. It's got tubing everywhere. Okay. And the side load is nice. You can load on either side. Okay. The rear ramps, you can put them in either direction you want to. Or if you, you know, if you got a side by side, you need more room, you can load the front one sideways, the front ATV sideways, and the side by side in the back, or the gator. You can load one up in the truck to the front ramp. It's a really, it's a nice angle too. It's not steep at all. This is, you know, like some of the ones we use on these trucks, especially the tall ram trucks. You got to use a pretty long ramp, and you get it going up there, and you're worried about flipping over. Not that case on a trailer that sits low, and, and the ramp's got a nice long reach to them. That makes it nice. Yeah. 